In this video, the secret behind why low carbohydrate dieting works for fat loss. We are Dan and Mike, and this is 5 Minute Fitness, where we try to cram in as much training and nutrition advice into just five minutes as possible. If you like that sort of stuff, hit subscribe, go check out other videos. Let's go on with this one. So low carb diets, how do they work? You all know someone who's been on a low carb diet. Oh, I lost loads of weight on a low carb diet. It's the carbs, no carbs, four marbs. Yeah. Your favorite one, that. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Carbs, four marbs. As long as it rhymes, get it. Yeah. Or as long as a TV, a reality TV star said it. All these myths come about, don't they, from social media? All those Love Island people, I had no carbs before I went to Love Island. Of course you did. Yeah. It's, it's the easiest thing to cut out. You are going to have to lower your carbs when dieting, but it doesn't mean that they're bad. Yeah. Like, you don't need to completely cut them out. The reason why you're losing weight when you cut out carbs is because, by default, you're cutting out calories. Most of the time, as well, it's because people know what carbs are. But what people do is that they, they take out all their favorite foods from their diet. And for a lot of diet gurus, it's really easy to just go, yeah, just cut out carbs. Yeah. You don't have to track your food, you don't have to weigh your food because you are drastically reducing all high calorie foods, cookies, pizza, sandwiches, Cake, toasty, panini. Chocolate. All our clients who are losing weight for a photo shoot or losing weight for a holiday, all of them will be on fairly high carb, probably. Yeah. When most people get the, they get the plan through 200, 250 grams of carbs, people are like, that's a lot of carbs. Yeah. Are you sure I can eat all that? No, I'm just guessing. No, just, just oh, guessing. shit, now you say it, I'm fucking hell, I meant 50. Like. When people say that though, 200 grams, 250 grams, you don't mean of cake. Yeah. Funnily enough, you can eat potatoes, you can eat rice, you can eat pasta. What you can't do with that pasta is eat a whole garlic bread, put cheese all over yeah. the top of it, and it's have a glass of red wine with it. It's like one or the other, isn't it? Yeah. It's either none or all of them. It's definitely the pasta, the lasagna, that's, it's definitely that that's making yeah, you fat, yeah. not, not the fact you've eaten all that shit with it. No. People can't get their head around the fact you can still have potatoes in not non-chip form. Yeah. Yeah, you can eat mashed potato, just don't put like a whole thing of butter in it. Yeah. Um, and have the sausages with it as well. You know, it's all the other stuff that, that people have with it. And it's not that the calories and carbs are bad, it's that usually all the foods you associate as high carb, like pizza for example, it's got a fuckload of cheese with it. All you have to do when you're looking at things is <clears throat> think about, is a low carb diet going to be something you can stick to for the long term? No, because Probably. all your favorite foods are high in carbs. It's gonna make eating out a lot harder, so then when you do eat out, you're then gonna go, well, I can't go low carb, I can't stick to my diet now. So then you're gonna so sort of go off on one, and it might be a case of start again Monday, and then you're I'm in starting the... now, so on that day of carbs, I'm also counting eating carbs. Yeah, exactly, and then on that, so you're then in face with the dichotomy of, right, actually I'm just gonna be dieting in the week, and on the weekends I'm off it, and then you get into that weird little Again, yeah, when people are like, oh, carbs are fattening, carbs are this, carbs are that, oh, you need to stay away from sugar. Like, you don't need to. So, the way I put it sometimes to some clients is like, well, if I just gave you a bag of Haribo to eat for the day, and that's all you ate, would you get fat? And logic would say, well, well no, because that's all you're eating for the day. So then, so that it can't be the sugar or the carbs, then surely, when would you get fat? Well, when you ate more of it. So then, surely it comes down to a quantity thing. So when the calories become too much, yeah, eating too many of those things might be less satiating, etc. And that's but, the thing, it's, it's that whole thing as well, is people eat those sorts of foods and they have six, seven hundred calories worth of that type of food, and they're still hungry, mm. because there's very little fiber in it, mm. very little protein. And the majority of low-carb diets are very high in protein and very high in fiber and vegetables. Those two things are gonna help, help keep you fuller for longer. And that's the, what we recommend in our normal diets alongside eating carbs as well. Mm. It's that that makes the huge difference to most people when they drastically change their diet from really high processed, high carb, high calorie yeah. diet. Eat some meat and veg, you're gonna feel fuller. You're gonna feel loads better about yourself. And then people think it's because they cut out all those carbs. It's like, no, you could no. have had them alongside it and just yeah. not been a dick about it and eating loads of them. Yeah. And have a little bit of what you fancy alongside a decent diet, single ingredient whole foods, you're gonna be alright. When you are dieting, you probably will have to lower carbs, but that's just because of virtue. It's got the calories have to come from somewhere. But it doesn't mean you need to completely cut them out. If you still want to have carbs at one of your meals, two of your meals, or even spread across all of them, that's fine. Just track the amount that you're eating and work it in that way. That way you don't need to give up your favourite foods, you'll just eat them a little bit more moderately, and then you'll be able to get longer term sustainable results. If you enjoyed that video, don't forget to hit like, or don't, if you don't want it. It's up to you, isn't it? Yeah. Your choice. Your choice. Your decision. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe as well. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.